All right, so I recently came across a video where this dude that was obviously on steroids and probably met was arguing with the police and getting crazy and like freaking out on him and acting silly. I'm not 100% sure what was going on with that, but I looked a little bit further into it. It turns out this dude's a Navy vet. Now, there's a good chance that he's got some like post-traumatic stress. Not sure what he did in the Navy. And I've only, I only know that he's in the Navy based on what I've read in a Reno Gazette journal. This dates back to 2020. There's a report in 2020 of July, where an officer shot a guy named Christopher Sheehan in the shoulder. On July 26, 2020, around 8.35 a.m., a deputy of the Washoe County Sheriff's Office was driving south on South Virginia Street at the intersection with Sierra Center Parkway. Ahead of him, Shannon Seguera was facing east on Sierra Center Parkway, stopped at a red light, preparing to turn south. Sheehan was facing west. He was driving a blue Jeep Liberty and had already partly entered the intersection. Segura waited for Sheehan to make the turn before Sheehan waved for Segura to proceed. She shook her head no since she did not have the right of way, causing Sheehan to become visibly upset and begin shaking his hands at the woman. Eventually, she made the turn before Sheehan sped up and drove towards Segura, nearly striking her and causing her to swerve out of the way. She pulled over to the right shoulder before Sheehan stopped in the number two travel lane adjacent to her blocking traffic behind him. He continued to wave his arms at her, who then called 911. At that time, a deputy approached. The deputy had not seen the original encounter, so they weren't tracking on what was going on. Sheehan then turned left into a parking lot of the K. Martin Lodge where he stopped. After he stopped, he got out of his car and told the deputy to stay in his car. The dude got out of his car and was like, stay in your car. Don't get out. Imagine having the nuts to tell a cop to stay in their car. Definitely strange right off the bat, right? Sheehan initially sat back in his car, but then he stood up. The deputy told him to stay in his car, but Sheehan did not heed those commands. Of course not. Why is he going to listen to you if he's, he's like roiding now and he, or he's on like drugs or something? The deputy did not want to make contact with Sheehan alone because he was described as being very large and muscular. Uh, so he requested expedited backup due to his erratic and aggressive behavior. This is a good like like, preface to the video that we're about to watch of this dude. The deputy did not believe that Sheehan would comply with further commands, and so upon obtaining a clear shot at Sheehan's back, deployed his taser. One of the two taser probes missed Sheehan and inadvertently struck an officer with the Ren Reno Police Department. Oh my god, bro. This is the whole thing is just going so horribly wrong. So when that taser hit that other Reno police officer, it caused him to flinch and inadvertently fire a single shot of his gun into Sheehan's right shoulder. So the guy got tased by his other fellow officer and then accidentally shot Sheehan in the shoulder because he like freaked out when he was getting electrocuted. In any case, Sheehan stopped at that point, got on the ground, he complied and was given first aid and he's being treated for that gunshot wound to the upper right shoulder. Ultimately, he survived and went on to do this, which we're gonna get into the video now. Just so we're tracking like Cops got a uh, a phone call by like the apartments, I guess the people that lived in these apartments because this dude was yelling and screaming. It was like a noise complaint, right? Let's see. I'm gonna tell you guys right now, whoever can go toe to toe with me, head to head, push up to push up with you. Let me be quiet and go in my own house that I earned with my blood, my sweat, and my tears. Like that's how we're gonna start this encounter? You're just like, he's like salivating at the mouth, bro. He's like, he's like a rabid animal. That's crazy. Hold on, let's keep going. My name is Christopher Henderson. You guys shot me 2020. You guys didn't pay me any money. Chris. You shot me in my right shoulder. He's like, see, you guys shot me in 2020. You shot me in right, my right shoulder and you didn't pay. Didn't, nobody got paid. I didn't get paid a dime out of it. Chris, what is going on? Jeez. Chris, why are you taking your shirt off, bro? What are you doing? Why why did you just climb out of the window and take your shirt off? What? What are you doing, dude? What's going on today, Chris? Let me do some pull-ups. Get the f out of my way. Move away. All of you move the f away. Back the f up. You gonna tase me? Chris. I'm in my own apartment. Chris. Chris. Don't tase me, bro. Dude, look, this dude is a this dude is kind of a beast. Yeah, definitely taking some performance enhancing drugs. Can I do a push if you guys will shoot me in the back? Chris, you promise me? I'm, I, listen, Chris, I'm, I'm a man. Chris, do you remember? I'm a man, right? I'm a man. What's your name? It's Elliot. Elliot what? Elliot Goodrich. When's your birthday? What's your number of your birthday? Chris, what's going on tonight? My brother, February 14th, 1979. Okay. I'm doing 14. Chris, what's going shut on? the up! Put your taser down and shut your mouth. I see your taser right there. I know. All your weapons, I see them right here. Every single one of you, especially that guy right there. Chris. Wait, you think you're hard? Chris. You think you're hard, mother? You think you're standing there hard? You gonna shoot me? I got no weapons. Chris. What else you want to see? You want to see the song? Chris. Want to see the Sheehan song, dude? 
Bro, why are you trying to take your pants off, bro? What are you doing, dude? Navy SEALs are hard. David Doggins, Jocko Willick, Jocko, run this country. David Doggins, run this country. Kyle Milliken, you guys know who Kyle Milliken is? Tommy did it. She is, baby. She is. She is. She is. Four, 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 four. Well, he gave uh, Jocko Willink a shout out. He also gave David Goggins a shout out. I think because of that, that that leads me to believe that that article was right and that he was a Navy veteran. I don't know if he was a SEAL. I don't know what he did for work. Dude, he's yoked. Like, don't get me wrong. He's a yoked dude. Chris, please don't shoot me. I'm going, I'm going to get my own help. Stop. We're going to stop. We need I'm to get your help. I'm going to put a shirt on. Chris, I'm going to get my own stop. help. Don't shoot me in the back. Hey, don't stop. shoot me in the back, Rio PD. Let me be Chris. quiet. Let me be quiet and go in my own house that I burned with my blood, my sweat, and my tears. Jesus, bro, this guy is like losing his mind, dude. Yo, I got to give it to the, the, the cops that were there, man. Like they maintained their cool, even though this dude is like freaking out on them. I think he probably has a little bit of PTSD. He's definitely doing some drugs. He's definitely on like steroids for sure. This is very typical behavior from that you could see his belly button that was like super pushed out i've never done that stuff before right so i don't know personally but i i've heard from a lot of my buddies that have done it your gut swells up a lot from a lot of the insulin and sometimes their belly buttons end up sticking out like that these cops are doing a super good job of like being extremely tolerant of his crazy erratic behavior which is very much like the behavior that he was exhibiting when he got pulled over in 2020 apparently so i'm assuming he's probably been doing this type of stuff for quite some time it literally said in that article that he was acting erratic and the cop was like yeah this dude's like yoked and he's acting a little crazy i need some backup we need to go get you some okay i'm going okay. don't touch me i'm going in my window no we're not going to i'm going house. in my apartment that it's my my dog's in there stop my dog's in there let's go all right take me to jail thank you we're taking you to jail for a little bit we're taking you to the hospital he's like all right take me to jail and then he's like, take me to the hospital. He's asking him to take him like so many different places, bro. Like, good God. I won't, I won't let it go, man. You guys are gonna arrest me, aren't you? You're gonna throw a charge or, or uh, disturbing the peace or something like that. Yeah, thanks. Hey, I need a f blanket. Chris, you wouldn't need a blanket if you didn't take off your shirt. You to grab my shirt for me? Yeah, I'll, I'll, grab it. I'll grab it from the other side. That way we're not getting it all it's in okay. the piss. It's okay, I'll I don't it. trust you guys to get our shirt. Okay. okay. I've, been, over I've been respectful towards you this entire time. You know I'll grab your shirt. Like that. I'm man. I'm man. You're the man, Chris. That dude is so jacked, and he's just like this massive mound of flesh that even the cops are like, We're not trying to fight this dude tonight. Please just come down to the station. Nope. Honestly, they did such a good job. I was super like, I, I got a lot of respect for the way these guys handled this because, like, man, that could have gone so many different ways if they decided, Yeah, I'm going to get real aggressive and put this dude down. Like, they're like, Look, man, please come on. We're not trying to like hurt you. We're not trying to like, like stomp you down we're not trying to cause issues we just want you to come down to the station maybe we'll help you get sobered up maybe help you like clean up a little bit they knew who he was because they had encountered him in 2020 when they accidentally shot him in the shoulder dude obviously needs a support system I don't know if he's got it or not. My hope is that after this period of time, after this altercation, after this, whatever you want to call it, this disturbing the peace period of time, hopefully he was able to get some help. There's a lot of guys out there that are probably in similar situations. They might've served in the military at some point and maybe they feel lost. I mean, they're just getting, I mean, they're working out all the time. Like a lot of guys still stay consistent with working out because that's like what they do. That's what they've grown up on. That's what they did the whole time they were in the military. Maybe he's just lost. Couldn't possibly be, have, have been solved in a better way or like handled in a better way by the law enforcement guys so that was pretty pretty well done i'd say if you've got friends or yourself and you suffer from any of this type of stuff you know call somebody ask for help try to get help whether you're dealing with addiction or alcoholism or ptsd and don't do steroids like just don't do that like if you're gonna do anything like go to a doctor have them test you out for like testosterone levels and if a doctor prescribes you with trt or something then that's on the doctor right that's between the doctor and you don't do what this dude was doing because you're just gonna you're gonna destroy your body anyway i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope this was like a cautionary a good cautionary tale of law enforcement guys who can handle a situation and also you know vets who get out and are dealing with their own issues. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know what you thought about this video in the comments and we'll see you in the next video. Until next time.